Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be making a start at the very least on my review of Captain Salt in Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson, continuing the Oz stories. Um, this is like a crappy public domain version of the book. It actually doesn't have a blurb that I can share with you guys, so we'll just get straight in and start looking at some tabs. Dane reads. As usual, we get some amazing exclamations, such as, Goose swing my top sails, mate. And Ato, uh, he goes, stop talking like a book and act like a seaman. Seaman is in pirate, not as in, you know. So just another great exclamation here, tar and tarry barrels. And another one, Samuel Salt says, goose wing my top sails, which seems to be one of his favorites. It's these uh, exclamations or ejaculations, if you will, that uh, I think I enjoy the most out of any of any of these books. And we have coconuts reference to again, Coco, coconuts seem to come up a lot. Um, and, and it's spelled C-O-C-O-A which is not how you spell it, but I guess it was back then, who knows? So we get another great uh, interjection here. Great goose feathers, are you alive or aren't you? Um, and interestingly, we also get, have you never felt so bursting full of ginger and happiness you could sing on a, horn, on a sailor's hornpipe? Which just sounds wrong, doesn't it? We get a reference to faggots, the food, not the um, slur for homosexuals, which I'm glad that it is not the slur. And then um, they, they encounter a sea monster and they get sailed because they have taffy, which I think is like toffee. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, they throw this taffy into its mouth and it can't chew. So they sort of sail it. And while that's happening, we get, look, the boy's drawn as lively a picture of that varmint as you'd ever hope to paste in a scrapbook. Here it is, tail, teeth and everything. I mean to say he drew that while we were all standing here ready to perish and go down with the ship. Ha, that's what I call bravery in action, exclaimed Samuel. And goozling my topsails. <laughs> but... That's not really bravery, that's stupidity. You should have been helping, right? Oh, there's a reference to a vegetable vine that will keep you supplied with fresh vegetables as long as you're at sea, which sounds like a really good idea. Um, obviously not like physically possible in our world, but <clears throat> you know how like you have to eat fruit to avoid scurvy. I don't know if eating vegetables avoids scurvy as well. I'm not sure. I guess it's to do with vitamin C, isn't it? So you need a vegetable with vitamin C. Another great exclamation. Heave to you blasted son of a cuttlefish lubber. Does, I guess lubber means lover in the same way, you know, you get land lubber. I don't know though. Oh, and then we get this, which is grim because this is what happens in Oz. You can't die in Oz. Like there was one of the early books where somebody got like chopped up into a thousand pieces and it's like, yeah, but you can't die in Oz. So that dude was just still alive, just in cut into little tiny pieces, you know? The vines will keep these roads afloat for two days and happy they will sink not to die as death comes not to the people of my country, but to lie for long forgotten ages at the bottom of the sea, harmless and sodden and unable to do any more harm to the country they have so dishonorably served and betrayed. Jesus Christ. And then Samuel Salt again, he gets goosing my topsails. You're right. So yeah, Captain Salt and Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson and L. Frank Baum. As I say, my copy got a bit mashed about when I took it to Vegan Camp Out, but uh, I did enjoy reading it. It's as good as any of the other Oz books. I don't even know why I'm still filming reviews of them at this point, because all there is is the occasional puns and, um, you know, the exclamations that really stand out to me. And then here and there, there will be a little reference to something that I enjoy. But yeah, I gave Captain Salt and Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson a 3.5 out of 5, a weak one. So there we have it, that's what I made of Captain Salt in Oz. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book if you read it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.